What's up YouTube, I'm Mr. No Name, or Max as people know him in the real world, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys some updated competitive classes post Columbus and post patch for the BAL and everything. Um, real quick though, I apologize for not uploading this week, I had issues with my editing software, however those issues have now been resolved, so back to uploading regularly. Again, I'm sorry, but you know there, there just wasn't much I could really do about it. So getting into it, first class here. Uh, is my first s and rush class actually and you'll see that I got the BAL stock grip quick draw lightweight fast hands toughness blast suppressor overclock and mute device only reason for fast hands here is honestly just to be able to turn on the mute faster uh, do keep in mind that when you're running fast hands it will you like you can't cancel reload you know how you normally would start sprinting and it would cancel the reload you can't do that when you when you're running fast hands so just kind of keep that in mind um, this is going to be pretty standard basically for most of my classes here. It's going to be a BAL with stock, grip, and quick draw, and then lightweight, toughness, blast suppressor. Like that is standard for pretty much all of my classes. Uh, there's just a few little variations on those every now and then, but um, yeah, just kind of keep that in mind. Obviously, I'm still using the BAL a lot. Um, the nerf didn't really do that much to it. I mean, it did reduce the damage, it did re reduce the range a little bit, and Messed with the recoil a tiny bit, but it's not too noticeable. It's still working, and they're also thinking about just taking away the nerf as well. So, you know, we'll just have to see what happens with it. Um, second rush class here. The only differences are I've got cold blooded on and then cloak. Um, I almost want to keep fast hands on this, but cold blooded and cloak just go so well together that that's what I'm using. Uh, this is meant to be used in combination with a teammate running some smokes to smoke out mid or bomb and let me just kind of push through and get behind them and everything. Uh, works really well. Don't use this one too much though. I usually just use the first rush class when I'm rushing, but uh, just keep that in mind. Next class is my S&D tactical class. Basically, um, I've got that fast hands again with the mute device and two stun grenades. This is not always going to be running two stuns. Sometimes it'll be Simtexes, sometimes it'll be smokes. It's whatever my team needs me. Um, I change it per map basis. Uh, usually I'm running stuns though. I use it for pre-stuns like on the map recovery and things like that. Uh, that's, that's just what this class is usually used for. Next class here is my S&D OBJ class. Um, and this class here, again, fast hands with overclock and trophy system. This is used to just kind of get the bomb down. It's meant for those quick plants and things like that. Um, that's the only time I would ever really take the bomb anyway. I'm usually not bomb carrier, but uh, this is class is just kind of for you guys. Also, sometimes I will use this class. I'll convert it and just basically... Actually, I don't even change it at all, really. I just use this for... Um, a hard point anchor class sometimes when I need to rotate quick and they're using lots of stuns and nades. Um, so yeah, you, you can use that for hard point as well. Next one I've named S&D and CTF. Um, the, the reason is because there's not enough classes for what I want. So for this one, what I do, this is the S&D setup right here uh, with overcharged. You'll see no fast hands this time with a mute device and a stun grenade. The only thing that changes here for CTF is I'll just come in here, change the mute device to overclock, just so that I can run really quick and everything. Uh, for S and D, this class is meant to be used for a slower push or for a defensive round, and I'll, you'll also see that this has uh, the red dot on it. That I go back and forth on this class between using the red dot and just going back to putting quick draw on it. Um, it's I, I mean I'm more comfortable with the iron sights on this gun to be completely honest. So you know, that red dot kind of changes as the on a per map basis, just how I'm feeling that day, basically. Uh, Alright, next class here is, this is my normal anchor class. Um, you'll see I've got overclock with two simtaxes. Basically, this is meant to get across the map real quick, be able to rotate, and then help my teammates nade out hills, because I've noticed when I'm trying to anchor and when I'm rotating and everything, my teammates sometimes need help on the hill as far as stunning or nading out. And um, I usually have some sort of angle to get some nades into the hills, so that's what I am trying to do now, and that is why I have that on the class. Next one, finally, you'll see a different gun here. It's my hover class. This is mainly, I basically just pull this one out on Biolab or maybe Detroit. Um, you know, just small hardpoint maps, basically, uh, or just specific hills sometimes. Um, and it, I've got the ASM-1 here with advanced rifling, quick draw, and laser sight, and then of course the fast hands, trophy system, and hover. 
Uh, you know, this one is just meant to stay on the hill and just kind of juke people out and get rid of some of the stuns and nades. I don't pull this one out very often because I'm not really a sub player, but this is one you can use. Also, of course, if you don't like subs at all, you could change the um, submachine gun there to a BAL. It's just when I pull this class out, it's going to be a very close quarters like this starting hill for Biolab um, or maybe even blue, but usually you don't really need a hover there, but you know, you might. But um, other than that, you know, I don't use this class too often. It's just kind of one you, you I'm throwing out there that you guys can use. Next one is a hardpoint OBJ class, and you'll see that I've got the uh, lightweight, overcharge, toughness, blast suppressor, trophy system, and Simtex. Uh, basically, I just kind of separated it out. I didn't want to have to try and remember to change this SND CTF like three times. Um, and then have to change the stun and everything. S and D and CTF, I want to use a stun grenade, and then the only difference, of course, was the overclock and then mute going back and forth. Uh, for this for this hardpoint class, I just wanted to have a trophy system and a simtex just to know it's there. This is one I use quite a bit, actually. Um, so yeah, and I can also use this as an anchor class if I can if I don't need to be rotating as quickly. But normally, this class would be used for getting on the hill um, and absorbing a lot of those simtexes and stuns, just contesting. Um, and yeah, next one is my uplink class. Uh, this is of course kind of what people are trying to start to use now. They want to use that overclock and stem, um, just to get that extra health. Uh, this one is meant for running the ball usually. And you know, it's just a, a very nice class. It gives you that extra health, a little bit extra time to throw the ball in or dash it. Or, you know, if you're, if you even don't have the ball, just extra health to help cover your teammates. Um, and it's a very nice one to use especially with fast hands because you can just turn that stem on real fast. So yeah, last one here is my curveball. And basically this class changes. Um, I, I just, whatever curveball strategy I'm trying out that week, that's what I use. Obviously here I've got the LMG with stock grip and a thermal sight with lightweight fast hands, toughness, blast suppressor, cloak, and two smoke grenades. Fast hands is for the cloak and the two smoke grenades. Um, you might've seen some people using this strategy. I was... I used this class pretty early on, well before Columbus, however, I keep going back and forth between using grip and quick draw on this, simply because after the first few shots, you don't need grip, like it's a laser beam, but the first few shots are so iffy and so hard to control sometimes that I've, I've just decided to put on grip and just play it as a much slower class. Um, it's been working really well for me personally, but I, I just, it's just not one that I pull out very often. Sometimes this class will change to a shotgun class, however, I just don't feel like the shotgun is, is as good as I thought it was originally. But um, yeah, these are my classes, so as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.